Happy birthday, dear Kat. On her second birthday, Camilla Bartasagi got something she didn't ask for. Along with her sister and parents, the toddler was diagnosed with COVID-19. I was super scared and I was also in denial, I guess. Like wondering, is that really happening to us? Parents Francesca and Alessandro suffered severe fatigue, headaches and sore throats. But their two daughters remained relatively well. Kids were okay. They were jumping and running everywhere like always. So um, that was quite tough for us. <laughs> the family then volunteered to be part of a groundbreaking study by the Murdoch Children's Research Institute. Scientists followed a group of 48 children and 70 adults taking samples from them both while they were sick with COVID-19, then again two months later. What it showed to us was that in children, these first responder innate immune cells were migrating to sites of infection, which were clearing the virus before it really had a chance to take hold. And this was not observed in our adults. The study found that unlike other respiratory illnesses, children are less likely to be infected with COVID-19 and one third of them have no symptoms at all. This provides a piece in the puzzle to understanding why children appear less affected by coronavirus and this will help us in designing new treatments for those more vulnerable. While this study explains why kids don't get really sick with COVID, scientists know they can still transmit the virus. Overseas, a number of trials are underway into COVID vaccines on children with results expected in the coming months. After a brief illness, the Bartasagi family bounced back and have remained COVID free. Happy they could help play their part in better understanding a modern medical mystery. Sophie Scott, ABC News.